A few years ago, I read a couple of best-selling books about building healthy, thriving parishes. They were written by a Roman Catholic priest and his lay associate, who drew on the wisdom of successful pastors of megachurches and innovative business leaders. These books aren't about ecclesiology or liturgy or canon law, but they are anchored in the Eucharist and the mission of the Catholic Church, and they show with remarkable thoughtfulness how to create an atmosphere that produces an infectious, enthusiastic environment in which to grow disciples and advance our mission. Since then, we have tried a few of the suggestions in the books concerning hospitality, the weekly message, and music. And then a few months ago, Drew and I attended a workshop by these rebuilt folks. And after being inspired to do even more, have formed a team of parishioners to look at some of the other guidance and recommendations they offer. And we are currently focusing on the core, the weekend, when everyone is here together. And according to these folks, the anchors for an exceptional and meaningful weekend experience are music, message, and ministry. And today I want to talk to you about ministry. The word ministry means service, but it means more than just helping out. It expresses the work by which Christ's mission continues. It's how we build up the body of Christ. One of the most important things we can do spiritually is to develop a servant's heart. The life God meant for us is one full of joy, but we must cooperate with God working through us to transform us from the inside out. And cooperation in this case takes a little bit of effort. I'm no gardener. I often say I have a brown thumb. I can't manage to keep a plant alive for a month. Now that's probably because I'm not willing to put in the effort and not because I don't know enough about gardening. Mostly, I think I'm just distracted by what are more important things. But when you really think about it, I really don't need to know the science behind how to grow delicious vegetables or beautiful flowers from seeds. But if I just put in the effort, the weeding, the watering, etc., to create the right environment, something beautiful will sprout and blossom. And that's how it is with our spiritual growth. We don't need to read and understand theology or study Bible scholars, but if we just put in the effort, and it need not be much, to create the right environment, great things will bloom. Most of us aren't really comfortable being asked to do stuff. We all have very busy lives. But if you ask anyone here who's a minister, the people who stock the fridge, mow the lawn, throw out the garbage, greet you with a smile when you walk in, organize and execute the parish barbecue, and countless other things, I'm pretty sure they will all tell you that what they do makes them a more joyful member of this parish family. Friendships develop, and when we are encouraged by one another, our faith is strengthened. Many people who have been serving a while will tell you it's changed them, transformed them, and transformed people transform people. I know no one is completely comfortable with change, but for a church to be healthy, it needs to grow the love and spirit of its members, which in turn grows the church because it produces a contagious joy. And the path to that growth and that joy is service. Now don't get nervous. We are talking baby steps here. In a couple of weeks, we're going to ask you if you are able to do a little bit from time to time. Little things that don't necessarily require special skill or talent. Because that's what healthy families do. And we're a family here. Each person in a family does his or her little bit to help the family grow happy and healthy. And as the members of a family mature, 
they are able to do more using their unique gifts and talents to help the family grow in love and grace. With the Holy Spirit's help, our parish family will do the same. And as we grow, we will be able to do more for others in the greater community and even the world. We must always keep our eye on what the focus of this church is, creating a sense of home and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, which is the kingdom of God right here, right now. And we can bring that kingdom to others by serving.